Three days after El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego recommended that area school districts suspend athletics for a few weeks due to the rise in COVID-19 cases in the borderland, Isleta ISD made its decision on Wednesday. Now, the district confirmed to KTSM that it will continue fall sports that were already competing and playing games for now. Winter sports that were about to start practices have been suspended. Now, that means three area school districts are not competing. That would be El Paso ISD, Socorro ISD, Canatillo ISD. Six are continuing. Isleta ISD. ISD is by far the largest school district that is still playing, and there was some dissension among school board members, but for Superintendent Xavier De La Torre, the biggest factor in this decision was why ISD's rapid COVID-19 testing program that allows it to test its athletes and coaches weekly. It has been fairly successful. They've seen a positivity rate under 2% with those tests, and plus with just three total sporting events this weekend, that would be two volleyball games and one football game, they can focus their energy on a small sample size, but De La Torre emphasized that they're taking things day by day. But it has to go very well this weekend because if you can't do it uh, with three games, then you're probably not in a good position to try and manage uh, all of these uh, elements in four or five football games and probably three or four volleyball games. Can we scale up and do that at all of the next week's games? And more importantly, what are the community numbers looking like and what did our own testing numbers look like? Yeah, this is by no means a final decision. The district will test all of its teams on Friday before they compete. And for the Riverside Clint District 1 4A championship football game, YISD has given tests to Clint ISD so they can test the Lions football team as well. De La Torre said that if more than two people test positive within a team, games will have to be postponed and have been postponed previously. It still remains to be seen how games will be made up with teams from school districts that aren't playing currently. More on this story is available on our website, KTS. SM.com.